Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and we're watching Tech with Pre. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 19th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood or rather we have seen like how you can create custom table and also how you can add fields, different type of fields. And also we have seen how you can, you know, uh, the manage the table, you know, do filtration like normal other table like incident change that we do. So if you missed that video, don't worry, I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen, right? Okay, so let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. Okay, so today we are going to see what is an extend table and also very very important concept dictionary override. Okay, so make sure you watch the full video guys to understand both this concept and I'll show you how you can do that. So don't skip any single part, right? So in my previous video, we have seen how, ex how a normal table, like how you can create a normal table, right? And also I mentioned extend table is a table which extends some other table right so while creating the new table we got the option uh, to choose if you are extending from any table or not so in in my last video so we didn't choose any uh, extend table so let me let me go to the service now and let me show you you would understand in a more better way okay so right now i'm in my service now so if i click on the all section you'd be able to see this is the table that we have created so this is the table we have created mobile issues so i'll click on that and you'll remember we have added few value also like you know store some records so you can see this is the record that we have created so now let's go to the table version and so that i can show you so like i was saying this table is not extended from any table so if i just okay so the page is loaded now so you can see there is no extend table option so this is uh, this table is not extending from other table and we have created this number of fields last day right okay so now i'm going to create a new table and i'll show you how you can extend from another table so this was the mobile issue so let's create a same kind of table and the name could be like you know uh, laptop issues so let's do that so i'll go to the table section table and column so i'm gonna create on new click on new so here i'm gonna give the label you know we already discussed about the difference between the label and the name so laptop issues name would be automatically done and i want to create it in the uh, self service module like we have created the mobile issue so let's remove it so i want it to be here so here i will type self service now it's pretty much same that we have done in the last uh, you know last video now here i'm going to add extend table so i want to extend it from the task table right task table is a base table so we have discussed already task table is a base table why because task table is not extending any other table but task table is extend by incident table change table problem table and also i'm going to i mean our new table called u underscore laptop call issues this table is going to extend the task table right so i'm going to choose extend table task here and just i'm going to click on submit so our new table is going to create guys it is now created so if i just click on update option i'm gonna get the new one you can see laptop issues this is the table i have created and also if i select on the all section you can see laptop issues uh, issues is there right the table uh, and mobile issues both the tables are there right so both the table are custom table just have extended from task table this one and for the mobile issues i did not extend now if i come to the bottom here you can see there are so many column available but we did not create any of the column so you can ask me pritam like you told us in the last video that while you create a custom table, few of the fields like created by sys id and few of the things submitted all of, so those fields will be created automatically right but i can see there are almost you can see 71 fields there and how this is possible because we are extending the task table that means we are extending all the fields of the task table now, if i go to the task table right now So let's go to the configure and table. So I'm going to the task table. You can see this is the task table. And you can see we have 70 column here already. You can see all these fields are there in the task table. Okay, so if I just go back, you can see all of this field. So in the laptop issues also, we have all these fields that has been inherited because 
task table is the parent table for laptop issues right so laptop issues is a child table and as per the rule you understood in my last to last video about table relationship that the uh, parent the child table inherit all the properties or all the fields from the parent table so it has inherited all the fields from the parent table right now you can also add custom field here so let me add some custom fields so i'm going to add maybe okay so you can see i have created three custom fields here so laptop number laptop issues laptop model and all other string field so let me click on save and now i'm going to to the form version let's see what are the fields we can see there so i'm going to click on all section and i'm going to choose the table laptop issues so this will open the list view so no record we have added but we are going to so i'm going to click on new but we can see here there is a task number automatic generating sign to field configuration item and all our fields are not there why as we are extending from the task table the custom field that we have added that's not been here in the form layout we need to add it manually right and these fields are coming why we have not added this field but we are extending the task table so these are the fields from task table so i'll show you if i click on right click here and then configure and go to the form layout where you can configure which are the fields is going to be there in your form so you'd be able to see you these are all the fields that are there from task table right so I'm going to do what I'm going to do is that I don't need this field. Let's be the task number there assigned to let it be. I don't need configuration item, not active priority, not state. Let's be the state here, not the parent table. Short description we need how because we have a we have a laptop description. So I'm going to see laptop issues. So I want to have laptop issues, laptop model and laptop number right and i'm going to click on save and you can see now we have all the fields that we are supposed to have so let's quickly assign a record so the task number is automatic generating again this is inherited from the task table now you can change it like for an example for mobile issues we have our starting number for mobile so maybe you are thinking no pritam i'm gonna add it as a laptop so laptop zero zero whatever the number would be so you can do that so for that i'm gonna go to the table version here i'm going to the control so you can see the auto number is not generated here i'm going to click on that and i'm going to choose laptop and it should be two zero uh, yeah two zero and it should be four okay i've already discussed about these fields in my last video guys again so if you miss that you can always watch it now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on update now see the laptop number is changed from task to laptop laptop right all right brilliant so let's quickly assign a record let's choose some assign to maybe any of it default laptop issues um, issues with the keyboard laptop model so give it a uh, lenovo maybe laptop number one two three four nothing and the uh, issue should be open pending so these are the things coming from the again from the task table so click on open so i'm gonna click on submit now the record is submitted in our new table called laptop issues right so if i go to the all section again laptop issues and you see we have one record so this is the work so this is how you can use extend table you can understand right so i hope the extend table concept is clear guys so now we are going to move into the dictionary override right now what is dictionary override so we heard about the term dictionary right you can configure any of the dictionary value so if i go to the new section here if you click any of the field right click just on it and then choose configure dictionary and that's the dictionary field you get right where you get the all the details right now what is dictionary override so i'll show you with the example okay so let's go with the example so i'll open the task table because task table is extended by the laptop uh, you know laptop uh, issues table and also like incident change all other tables right so let's go to the task table so i think task table is already open on the right hand side so here let me create another field here so i'll just go down and add a row maybe uh, let's create some field which i can add also in the incident table and also in the laptop issues table which i'm right now using like the home address maybe home address okay that's the field we want 
string us uh, let's make it string okay uh, let's put it on uh, 50 that's it so we have created a new field here that is the in the dax table that is the home address so as per the rule of the extend table now i ext i can extend this field in my laptop model so uh, let me laptop issues let me go back to the laptop issues table and let's go to the form view and here i'm going to add it so i'm gonna choose configure form layout and from here home address right home address so i can just add it here click on save and you can see home address field is added now and however i'm going to also add it in the incident table right so i'll open the incident table so this is a form view of incident table right so i'm going to add it let's add it under the short description maybe so again configure form layout so i'm gonna choose home address I'm gonna have it just under the click on save and you can see under description we have the home address okay that's fine we have created a new column in the task table and we extended in the laptop issues table and also the incident table right now what i want is that for laptop issues table i want this field this home address field needs to be mandatory field it has to be a mandatory field okay so user has to put the home address while uh, you know writing about laptop issues so maybe we want to deliver a new laptop or replacement of the laptop or anything we need the home address that's very important so i want this has to be a mandatory field right now also in incident field i have the home address but i don't want to be as a mandatory field fine so how you can do that now if i go to the task table and make this home address field as a mandatory field then it would become mandatory for the laptop issues table and for the create incident table for both the table but we don't want that we want it's only mandatory it should be mandatory for the laptop issues table so for that what i need to do i need to go to the task table here and then from columns i will choose the home address you can see home address here i'm going to click on that now i'm going to override that dictionary value right these are this is the for the home address column level and these are the dictionary value you can see right now if i click on mandatory here then both the field will mandatory like i said from the incident table and laptop issues table but instead of that what i'm going to do i'm going to so i go to bottom here and there is an option called dictionary override i want to override this dictionary value in the laptop table that's why it is known as override dictionary okay i'm going to click on new here and from here i need to choose this is a form view of dictionary uh, entry override so i'm going to choose the form view i mean the laptop issues table so because i want to implement in the laptop issues now if i scroll down there are so many options you can find so i want to choose override mandatory i'm going to click on that do i want mandatory yes i want mandatory fine then i'm going to click on submit here now if i go down you see the dictionary value is added for you laptop issues table okay so i'm gonna now how i'll check i'll go to my laptop table again laptop issues right click and reload form now you see here we have the mandatory sign for the home address field in the laptop issues table but if i go to the incident table if i reload the form here you see home address is normal like no mandatory sign is there but for the laptop table we have the mandatory sign and both the laptop table and the uh, incident table both is extending the task table and extending this home address uh, field right but with the help of dictionary override we have set a dictionary value we have override the value that for the laptop issues table the home address field should be mandatory and that's why it is showing mandatory so you see with the help of the dictionary override and extend table we can do a lot of things so guys you can practice it create your own table use this dictionary override use extend table and create your own kind of setup right that would be your kind of a home task you can practice it so this is it for today guys and also a section of the tables has been completed
right so we will have a new section in the in my next video so if you have any doubt guys come to the comment section and ask me a question also if you find it helpful click on the like button and also don't forget to share with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video bye bye take care